What up, pressure washers? So, tonight, I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long weekend, but it's been a great weekend. I have had a great time. I've been down here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I have met about 15 of you guys, 10, 15 of the guys that are in my in for the training. And it was a great day. We did pressure washing yesterday. Um, we went for 11 hours, 10 and a half hours yesterday. We had some pressure wash training. We had um, gutter cleaning. What up, guys? Um, and so, um, and today we just got back from pressure from Christmas lights. Um, what up? So, um, the it was a great class. We had some great networking time. And so I met some really cool people. Um, we got to, um, every night we ate dinner together. So we had lunch together and then we went out and ate dinner every night. And so that was really good. You know, we, we went and, and we got to network and that's what I want to push talk about, you know, networking is a great way to help you grow your business. And this is why networking is a great way to great working. And you had, um, and, and you get to be around other people, you get to, um, you know, one of the guys in the Christmas light class today, he owns his own sign company, very successful dude, very, very successful. I mean, and, you know, and he even said today, you know, you come to do training, you learn, you learn your skill and you learn what you need to do and you become successful. And that is exactly what you will be become successful. Um, he don't, you know, it's not, I mean, this dude's probably doing 10 to 15 million million a year. So it's not like he needs Christmas light training to help his business get to the next level. You know, he could do other things, but he also understands that there's a thing here for it and he's going to add it to his um, sign company and he's going to make more money at it. But, you know, tonight at dinner, we sat there. Um, um, Barack is right on the other side of the wall here in the other hotel room. And we got to sit down there. He's, you know, Brock's a 23 year old guy getting into pressure washing and, you know, he's wanting to be successful and he is going to be successful. I know he's going to be successful. And so, you know, we sat down with this dude, he's my age, he's 40 years old. And we talked to him for, um, we got down to class around, um, five thirty six, and we shut the restaurant down at nine. And so, you know, networking with other contractors, networking with other businesses, you know, we, I talked to Nick, um, Nicholas today. Um, he's been very successful this year and how he's grown his business is through networking. Networking is a great way to grow your business. I mean, Nick he basically said he's the guy for roof cleaning. And how did he do that? He went and met every roofer out there and networked with them and, you know, basically, you know, giving them roof jobs and he's going to get the job for the other side of things. So just make sure that you guys are um, doing that. Great class. It was a great class. Mr. Reggie Bryce is in the house. Um, like I say, this class was a little bit different. Um, this class was definitely something that I'm going to start pushing more toward. Um, I really enjoyed the way this class was, um, not just toward the class side of things, but again, you know, we got to go and we all ate dinner last night. We ate dinner Thursday night. We ate dinner tonight. And, you know, uh, and we spent some time together learning and, and that kind of thing. And so that is what it is. That's what it's really about at the end of the day. Um, you know, because honestly, when we go and eat dinner and you find out from other contractors of, Hey, I did this. And, and that's the thing with this when, and when you got my training, you know, there's people that have never started. They are brand new, never bought. They don't even have their pressure washer. They're trying to figure out what they need to get. They're trying to figure out what's best, what's all that kind of thing. And so, you know, that is definitely something that, um, is one to do, you know? And so, um, and then there's people that have been started and, you know, they have different businesses. And so then they're trying to do that. Jason, how can I get info on your classes? 
So, Rick, I will have in-person training. If you go to Chris, or pressurewashhelp.com slash in-person training is the date. I don't have any dates set up for any other classes yet. Um, I am going to have one in January. It's going to be like January the 3rd. It's that Sunday. Um, it's the Sunday after New Year's Day. And so um, that one will be a joint effort with Mr. Bobby Walker. And then I will have another training class probably um, January or um, March. And we're probably going to do another one. Um, got to get you up in Jersey area for the next in-person training. And I may do that. I got some people up there that, you know, Jason ruined my painting business. Thank you. Um, so I will probably do some of that. I will probably... Um, do, I'm definitely going to move around this year in Jersey, and I'm going to try to figure out, and I'm going to try to um, where for the training. It's going to be in Orlando is that January training is where that one's going to be at, um, in Orlando, Florida, in January 3rd, I believe it is. Um, yes, come up to be my, her New Jersey. And so I, I'm definitely going to do something up north for sure. So you know, that is definitely something I'm going to do. And I'm going to try to schedule them out and make sure that, you know, if you're in parts of the country and all that kind of stuff. And so um, next year, I'm definitely going to try to schedule them out a little bit better and not just be more of the last day. Jason breaks it all down from zero to a 100 and gets your hands on it and meet a network of people to add to your family. And that is exactly what I, you know, that's exactly where I'm headed with this. You know, we met, you know, Reggie is an amazing guy. Um, I was glad I got to meet Reggie. He was really cool. Um, and so, you know, it is one of those things that just meeting people, you know, he, we, we had it at a, um, at a local um, pressure washing um, store and when Reggie went in, he actually went to school with the dude. And so, um, you know, that is definitely something that you can do. And so, um, you know, it is it is what it is at the end of the day. Networking is a great thing. And this is what I want to let, you know, Mr. Um, I'm kind of tired tonight. So I'm kind of, I know I'm jumping all over the place here, but <laughs> um, I've only worked for the last two days. We've been kicking my tail. But, you know, Donovan down here, Donovan is the king of um, networking. I, I've seen it. I mean, it's happened. You know, on Thursday, I got, he's at work with a dude that has a $10, $12 million landscaping business. And we went and met him the day. And he does a lot of Christmas lights. And, you know, Christmas lights are cool and everything and, and that. But it's not just, you know, twinkly lights. I'm going to be having a lot of, um, like I'm going to have a lot of videos on here about twinkly lights. I'm going to be putting them up at the house and, you know, the, I'm going to do all kinds of different things like that. And so I would have never got that contact if he wouldn't be here. And so that is the beauty of it at the end of the day. And so 54 reviews now back, Mike knows why by name, <laughs> but you know, that is the whole thing of what we need to do at the end of the day, you know? And so I just want to make sure that, Oh, shoot, I just thought of something else I was supposed to do. I just want to make sure that at the end of the day that you all are successful. And that is my goal. You know, I'm probably going to change up a little bit in my membership. And I'm going to change up a little bit how I do my classes. Because this weekend, has kind of there was there's some things that, there were some questions asked. And, I, and it was good. But I'm not saying it's bad. Um, but it was good because... I, some questions asked got me thinking of kind of how I need to steer my class. And and then you're st I'm still going to steer it to the point of you're going to learn everything, but I'm going to steer it to the point of I'm going to break it down a little bit further than I have, and I'm going to break it down from step to step, step by step. You know, one of the guys um, would ask the question that I was kind of like, that's what I want. And so this is the question that was asked that I was like, okay, that makes me want to make sure that if you, rather you do it in my membership or if you come to my in-person training, I want you to make sure that you know every step along the way. Now, is, is there steps that I can't do? Yes, absolutely. 
Is there stuff that you're going to just have to take and do it? Absolutely. But I want to make sure that every step you can make sure that it happens, you know, and it comes down to stupid stuff sometimes, you know, but sometimes those stupid stuff will help, will stop you from being successful because instead of taking action and just picking one, a lot of times we'll just go back and forth and we'll go back and forth. And, uh, and so we got to make sure that you have to know what you're doing to be able to get to that next level. Now, I don't want to dumb everything down where if you come in at this level, I want to make sure you can get to the next level. You know, I can help people that, you know, a lot of other people can't help because they've never been to that level. And so I'm just wanting to make sure that you can be successful. And yes, you can be successful. Take action. Exactly. Stupid question. Are the ones you don't ask and still don't know? You're absolutely right. Your membership, Bobby's Toolkit, are a dynamic combo for business, period. There was only one fluffer here, and that was Donovan. Um, but near Orlando, Florida. Um, but yeah, so um, big balls. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I'm glad I got to meet a bunch of people. Um, we we had, like I say, this night we had dinner. Um, I'm up and up it's New York. And Jersey definitely would be closer to get to for Christmas lights. And so, like I say, this time we had I had dinner with everybody. I got the hotel. Everybody stayed in the same hotel pretty much. We got a pretty good deal on the hotel, 85 bucks a night for a Marriott, Courtyard Marriott. And so it's definitely something for that. So, um, but the in-person training, like I say, I try to make sure that you understand and, you know, the in-person training, I go over everything. Like today, I even went over LinkedIn a little bit. So that way I, I, I opened it, you know, I actually took action and showed LinkedIn because I think LinkedIn is one thing that you can get business from pretty easy and it doesn't cost you anything. And that is the reason why I teach that method. It isn't anything like that, but it's just that you can be taught. When is the next Christmas light class? Interested. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have. I'm not, have, I have, I'm not planning on no big class. Um, I may do personals, um, but th that'll depend on where you're at, and uh, I don't know what the cost of that would be either. Um, but that would be the only thing that I will be able to do is be a one-on-one -on -one class versus a. In per with several people. Um, we need wisdom in Oklahoma. Jason, this is Robert from Flo or Robson from Florida. I was wondering if you could speak over the phone to talk about pressure washing. So I don't talk over the phone. I do have a thing that I will do a Zoom call um, and. I would have to, I don't know what the link of it is. I'll have to see what the link of it is. Um, and that's the only way I do that anymore. LinkedIn, yep. LinkedIn has been great so far. Only made a profile last week and the got three jobs from the same person. So he got LinkedIn last week. Greg Townsend, you know, that's why I love Greg. Because when I say something, Greg takes action. And when you take action, you are going to be successful. Greg is being successful. Greg is hitting $10,000 a month. Who wants to hit a $10,000 a month? If you want to hit a $10,000 a month, put something down here in the bottom. But you, And you know why he started LinkedIn? Because this guy said to. And you know what happened when he did it? He's gotten three jobs. How much is that three jobs? And, and if you keep doing it, you're going to get more. And that's the beauty of LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a thing that you can get business. You're talking with business people. You know, I want a $20,000 a month or a $200,000. Which one is it, Bobby? You know, and so, you know, that is the thing about taking action. If 
you don't take action, you know, that's why Greg is being successful. Because when I say something, he does it. You know, he went through my membership and then he got into my Google My Business. Guess what happens when he does Google My Business? It blew up. You know, if you don't take action, you will get nothing. That's, that's, that is the one guarantee. If you do nothing, you will get nothing and you won't be busy and you will be dead. So you have to take action. If you don't take action, it's not going to happen, guys. I'm sorry. Howdy, Beth. There's no money in power washing in Florida. Nope. Mike's entrepreneur journey. Hello, Mike. Jason, I have followed you for a while now. Looking forward to Orlando class on January. Sign me up. I'm going to work on that sign up this week. Um, I will figure out all the information um, and the the information so that I when you sign up, I will, it will automatically email you. Um, we will probably cut it off at 20. Um, it might be cut off at 15. Um, just because, like the last two days, even when I have people here that can help, it's going to be, um, it, it takes a lot out of both of us. Me and Donna, we've had, we had 11, or we had 11, 11 on, on the first day, and we had 12 or 13 a day, and it took, it, it's a lot to get that. Um, Mike's entrepreneur journey. I want to do $20,000 a month. I mean, you can do $20,000 a month. I want to do $10,000 a month. You can. You can do it. You got to take action and do it. I like $10,000 a month. See, Jason wanted to do it and he's getting it. Total from those three jobs, $1,900. So he took action on LinkedIn and has made $1,900 off of three jobs from one LinkedIn person. So what if you go find 10 more of those LinkedIn people? That's how you get it, guys. Check that $30,000 a month. $10,000 a month. Yep, on my way. Take action. Fail to plan, plan to fail. Absolutely. I had to bring my machine in out of the cold tonight. People in the South are lucky. Season's coming to a close. Yeah. That's why you got to make enough money in the summer so you can go in the South and do nothing and watch them work. Jason, I'd love to get on with you again. Just got to pay for sealing. I just got three jobs lined up this week. Awesome. Hi, which machine would you recommend to a novice for everyday use? Thank you. I would do a um, a uh, at least a four gallon a minute. Um, you can do the five gallon a minute. I like the five gallon a minute. Five gallon, if you do with the littler motor, the five gallon with the GX three ninety, um, and you can get it for anywhere for about fifteen hundred to two grand. You're going to pay that for a, a four gallon a minute. So you're going to be at either which way at that point. Um, y'all, y'all did real good. <laughs> uh, got a call back because his wife noticed small white watermarks on front storm door glass. So I went right over and cleaned it off with a bottle of 50 vinegar and 50% and got a five-star review. That's what it's all about. Getting them five-star reviews. I like those five-star reviews. I even like those five-star reviews. If y'all want to give me a five-star review, go to pressurewashhelp.com slash review. I like those five-star reviews, too. It makes me feel good. Good. No, I love helping people, and... When and and that's the same, you know. Here's the thing, you know. If you guys want five star reviews, give other companies. If you go to restaurants, if you go to, 
if you get a service done, give that business a five-star review. I mean, you're asking for them all the time, but give them too. Don't be stingy and be like, ah, blah, blah. You know, you know what it is like for a business owner to get a five-star review. You know, if you give five-star reviews, it will come back to you. You know, if you give, you will get. That's how it usually happens. You know, if we give five-star reviews, then that's the thing that will help you, will help that company out, you know. And when you give that five-star review, they will love that, you know. I give five-star reviews all the time. I give some one-star reviews. If you're a crappy service, I, you know, and it's just crappy, I'm going to give you a one-star review. I'm sorry if you suck. Figure it out. Now, the ones that will come back and say something. But now, what I will do most of the time, you know, I'll do it at restaurants. I'll do it through services. I do it all the time of giving five-star reviews. Because you know what? When I give five-star reviews, that's just something that I know that's going to help that other business. Especially if it's a small business owner. If you know it's a small business owner and it's one thing you can do to help that five, that business out by just giving a five-star review, you know personally that that five-star review will help them out a lot. I give five-star reviews all the time. I mean, it's kind of like a big game on there because you get points and you get to go to the next level once you give so much. And I'm at like level seven. I'm a, I'm either a level six or a level seven. I got, I've given so many five-star reviews, so many pictures and stuff like that. And I do it all the time. It's kind of a game to me. And so I like to do it also because I want to help small businesses. I want little businesses to grow and be become successful. And I know that five-star reviews really help out. And so it is definitely something that you can do to be help them out and everything like that. Uh, okay. I can do it over Zoom. I watch your videos all the time. I would like advice and think you're a great person to seek advice from. I'd have to, I'll have to send you a link to it. Effort times time equals results. Yeah, that is true. If you do nothing, you get nothing. Um, can I run 20% pretty much everything? He's working. I did my first thousand dollar job the other day. That's awesome. If that was a goal, go out to dinner with take the wife out to dinner. In other news, oops, shoot. in other new, good news, I killed my first plant the other day cleaning a roof. Well, at least you got it out of the way. <laughs> Hope you learned your lesson so you don't do it again. <laughs> uh, Big Rob, I'm up in North Jersey. When you're free, I'd like to drive down there and get some lunch. Just two shrubs. They caught some crosswind. They will be fine. Well, that's good. Gotta watch them crosswinds. Those crosswinds can get you in trouble. <laughs> Got a four gallon in the in my area. It seems like the client water supply can't keep up. Should I get a sixty five gallon leg tank? Yeah, he can get. I've done it out of the thirty five gallon. Wilderness isn't that a hell of a feeling? Making two people's weeks pay in one day. Yep. What up, Mister Edwin? Everything's good. So I'm down here in Raleigh, North Carolina right now. Um, I'm spending the night because the last two days were pretty hectic. Um, I will be driving back up through um, Virginia and West Virginia and seeing all the sites driving back up through that way. Um, all the leaves are turning, so it's actually been very pretty. I'm down, coming down, and so... I'll be listening to another book on the way home. I'm listening to Traffic Secrets and uh, or Expert Secrets um, from Russell Brunson. And so this is my time that I do it for learning. Um, is Kyle, especially since I just graduated high school. <laughs> hey, that's all right. Be a young entrepreneur. 
I'm preparing business cards with clips for tomorrow, throwing in driveways. Just got an X jet for house washing. What would be the longest Kim hose I can run? I've heard people running up to about six feet. I don't know how true or not. Jason, Google service guaranteed just started in my area. Should I do it? It looks great and shows before Edward. I would probably do it if you if you can get, especially if you can get the greens check mark. Hey, Jason, do you winterize any rigs videos? Yes, I did one last year about winterizing. You can either blow it all out or use antifreeze. And I do have a video on it. Take the advice. Well, don't take the, what? Take this advice. Don't take this advice. But you're providing the most people who go through the rat race of college and debt are suckers. Be your own boss. Good job, young man. Thanks for the advice. I really appreciate it. No problem. Damn winds here in the Midwest. <laughs> Last couple of days can't do any spraying above one story. Sucks. The Pumpkin Plan is a great book when you get a chance. I would 100% agree with Mr. Jack Garrett. If you have not read The Pumpkin Plan, I actually read it. Um, I actually listened to it on the way to Cleveland when I went up to that training. And if I get time, I'm going to read it again because that's a book that, you know, you know, I love um, some people you want to read books and you try to read lots of books, you know, and you think you get all this information. You know, honestly, I believe into the fact that read one book lots of times and understand it and take action on it and you're going to do very well. And that book I'm going to probably read two or three times because The Pumpkin Plan is a great book. It is a book of making sure that you're you're valuing yourself and and you will get yourself to the next level. That is a great book. I agree 100% with that, Jack. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. Great day. It is very helpful for beginners and experts to have local pressure washing store nearby. The one nearby me, Pressure Wash Supply Center, has plenty of parts, but also helps so much. It is good to have that. Hit the Shenandoah Valley on your way drive through on your drive through Where's that at? Is that in um, Virginia? I run a 100-foot hose with my X-Jet and a 4 gallon machine, no problem. When doing bandit signs, should you, I use my own number or should I get a Google number? Also, should I put my website on them? Don't want to be haunted down by the man. Um, I don't know if I'd put a Google number on it or not. The Google numbers, they're kind of goofy and you don't always get the answer in that. Beginners start a great visit to your local shop and keep it going great. I had an awesome job. The stain would not come off hardy plate until I asked the local store. Will a GX270 drive four gallon general pump with that? Probably. I'm not I'm not I don't know for sure though. Um was rust stain that came out super easy, but not with SH. Customer was very pleased. Yeah, rust is SH is not sodium hype. Sodium SH is not going to get rust off because rust is not an organic stain, and so rust is an inorganic stain, and so we got to use inorganic stuff to get it off. Um, so we're going to have to use an acid to get any inorganic stain off. So. Just think of it this way. When you're dealing with green stuff and you're dealing with organic stuff, bleach will take it off. If we're dealing with inorganic stuff, bleach will not take it off. For instance, rust. Um, in fact, um, bleach is an oxidizer. So bleach can actually make it worse than it was in the beginning because it is an oxidizer. Um, but, you know, if we have oil, oil is not going to come off with SH. So, because SH isn't a degreaser, so we need to get a degreaser to get um, oil off with. Need to find an SH in South Jersey. 
I like running a degreaser in my mix. I will be running 12 volt next season. Does it make sense to run a separate metering valve for that or run through the same? You don't need a degreaser in your surfactant. Um, it does, again, we are cleaning organic stains, staining. So a degreaser is not going to help us out one way or the other. And if you 12 volt, if you are 12 volting, you're going to be there a while. You're going to be better off to use a downstream injector and extract, and you'll move a lot faster than you will soft washing. Can you remove rust and oil stains from concrete with muriatic acid? I wouldn't recommend using muriatic acid. Um, the rust stains, you can use an olic acid. Um, oil stains, is you're not going to remove it with acid. You're going to have to use a degreaser to remove it. Is a pressure washing business snake oil? How come everyone gets out after three years? I don't know. I don't. I think it comes back to the ones that are successful aren't getting out after three years. But I also think that people don't always know how to bid, and that's why they just run it out. Or you might learn another skill that you go that you go do it from that from learning. Can you buy? No, you cannot buy directly from EcoChem, um, but you can usually get it locally at some of your brick mason stores. Um, if you got a brick store, the way they do like brick laying and stuff, a lot of times them EcoChems are there. You can buy it there. The real that should be fun. I use this fragment that has a degrees or in it, but my metering no problem. Yeah, who gets out after three years? My company I work for in San Antonio learned so much from your guy, Clean Cab. Yeah, on your signs, I've just put large phone number and large, um, large phone number and large service, one service. Will muriatic acid work under urine stains, under urinals? I don't know. I'd be careful because I know bleach and urine doesn't go together. So I would be, I mean, because I would just be careful with that. That could be getting dangerous. Have you ever used the new super sucker downstream as an alternative X jet? I have not. I'm probably going to have to buy one. Maybe I'll buy one and then I'll give away. Who would want me to do that? Who would want me to buy a super sucker and then give it away? Do a couple videos on it and give it away. Um, do I have a Facebook mate? I do. You have to be in my membership to get in it though. Do you think I can upgrade my pump from four gallon to five gallon on an MI? Yeah, you probably can. If it's a belt driven, I know you can. If it's not, I don't know. I'm going to buy one, so absolutely. Giveaways are always good. <laughs> Giveaways are fun, right? I need to get to 2,000, 20,000 sub subscribers before the end of the year. I'm pretty sure I will, but um, it kind of slowed down. What up, Mr. Lee Wallace? How are you doing tonight? Um, Courtney Williams says, good idea. <laughs> um, but in what case is a 12 volt better than downstreaming? In what case is a 12 volt better than downstreaming? I think downstreaming is way better. Well, you know, a lot of times um, if you're on a budget, that's why people do 12 volt because it's cheaper. Um, reason why I do my classes is so that you get to touch and you get to spray water with a 12 volt. You get to spray water. You get to spray soap in that with a, um, a downstream and an X jet. And so, um, you know, some people will always like that 12 volt because it's cheap and that's, you know, but that's just what it is. Um, I like, 
I mean, I think you're crazy. If, if I was going to start a pressure washing business, I would buy me a five down minute pressure washer and put me a downstreamer on there and I could go make me some money. Thanks. 2% clean gutters. Yeah. Yep. What can would you use to remove paint stains from shutters on a vinyl siding house? Um, I would use an acid. You can use um, acrylic or you can use, like I would always, I never really carried anything other than F9 and I know F9 is expensive, but I would, I would, and I always charge, that's an upsell. That's not um, something that I'm just going to give away for free, you know. I'm going to upsell that to make sure that I'm getting my $50 worth of F9 and making $150 off that account. Great, man. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm a little tired tonight just because I've had two days worth of classes of over 20 hours. You may pass out on this live. You are making me tired. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. I know my my energy is just not there tonight. I add air cleaning and window cleaning to my pressure washing business to keep jobs coming in. Good. Is it better to turn down PSI using a ball valve or by slowing the motor down? Don't slow the motor down. Um, why do you need to reduce the PSI? The best way to reduce PSI is through your J-Rod. That's the best way to reduce PSI. Um, if you do not... If you... If you have to go strong, you will need 12 volt. We had to use 5% of concrete building downstreaming at 2% would not touch it. Yeah, that's usually, if you got it on concrete, you're going to usually have to use a 12 volt. That's the only time you're really going to need it. 12 Downstream is it unless you are doing roofs. 12 volt slow. <laughs> Mr. Reggie Bryce, you are right. It's like, it's, it's not even, I, I don't know. What do you think about relationship marketing like through SendGen, Brownie Cards, Worth It, or Eating Profits? Um, I think it's not a bad thing for certain customers, but, I mean, I don't know. Depends on what the value of a customer is. You know, if I got a $10,000, here's the thing. If I got a $3,000 um customer and i sent them brownies or i sent them a handwritten note both of them are probably going to be good at the end of the day um you know which one's going to be better i don't know it's one of those things you kind of got to try and see because at the end of the day you know what is the lifetime value of a customer worth can you wash can you roof wash with a dentistry no you cannot big rob thank you jason how much extra you said you would charge for using F9? So F9 is 50 bucks a gallon, $55 a gallon. And I don't even know if that can cover shipping. So, you know, if I got to spray acid, that's going to be $100, $150. Even if it's just a little bit, might be more than that because it's dangerous. It kill you, kill you, man. It kill you. Yep, I'm tired too. I'm getting off here around getting up at 345 for the day job. Maybe I'll have the balls to take the full-time leap next year. I have a hot water 4,000 PSI, 5 gallon per minute, and was thinking I had to make sure the pressure wasn't on full throttle when the surface clean. Do you think that's fine? You can go full throttle. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Fire that baby up. In fact, uh, the motors are better ran full throttle than half. Um, they're designed to run at that, and that's what we want to run them. Some lady said I broke off her security camera. Good thing I took a picture of it at first. Yep, that's why we take before pictures, because otherwise, guess who would have been buying a new camera? That's why we take our before pictures. Look, Miss Jones, right here, your camera was broken before we got here. And you know what? I might, if it was broken, I would have probably took pictures of it individually to make sure that I had it on pictures.
how is F9 dangerous? It has this thing called an acid, and an acid, one drop of acid and one drop of bleach get together, and it goes boom, boom, shakalaka. Can be very, very dangerous. Do you cover your class how to prepare wood deck for staining? I do. I talk about stripping and all that kind of stuff. Um, how to use sodium hydroxide. <laughs> 12 volt is like watching paint dry. No fun. No, it's not. Should I include washing gutters when I wash a house? Should I charge a merge for it? Um, big daddy. I do. I We wash the, the mold off of them. If you're talking about the tiger stripes, we do not. That's an upcharge or I don't charge them. I don't clean them. One of the two. Any money in driveway ceiling? Yes, there's great money in driveway ceiling. Lots of money in driveway ceiling. Um, I mean, you can get, depending on, you know, you can get, so say if you wash the driveway and it's 300 bucks, you can go get a $100 five-pound sealer and charge $600, five, $600. So maybe spray the F8, F9 with a pump-up sprayer. Yes, I always put the F9 in a pump-up sprayer. Make sure you mark that pump-up sprayer that it has that in there. Because, again, guys, we do not want to mix chemicals. If you don't know if these, the chemicals play together, don't mix them, a period. Um, if you're not for sure that a chemical plays with each other, do not mix it, period. Some things will blow up if you are not careful. So you, if you're not 100% sure of, all right, this will be fine, then don't mix it. Because the last thing I want you to do is get hurt. I don't want you to get hurt at all. Because you blow up something and it blows you up, it does no good at the end of the day. I did graffiti cleaning. Kim smelt like bananas. Yeah, that taginator. I heard that taginator is kind of hard to get and stuff right now. Have you ever washed a roof with an X jet? Nope, I haven't. I would not do that. Too much volume. They're going to get that crap everywhere. I usually just hit it with a stronger mix and the gutters clean up again. That ran into tiger strike. Yeah, that's usually what I do. So, usually, when, and this is how I teach it. So, when I will wash up, hit the gutter, wash up, hit the gutter. Then I go turn my soap off. And then what I do is, is when I'm coming back, I will hit that gutter and walk all the way down that gutter with that mix that is still in the, um, in the, in my hose. And the reason why I do that for is, is because, um, well, obviously the gutter is up by the roof. And so all that heat coming out of that roof is drying that gutter pretty fast. And reason why it's not cleaning is, is because it's drying so fast that when it dries fast, it don't have enough dwell time to do its thing. And so that's why I'm going to hit it one more time to make sure that I will clean that gutter and it will clean that gutter right up. What do you, what do you do if customers pit bull attacks your leg with the pressure washer in your hand? Can you spray it and stand your ground? Hell yeah, I'm gonna spray it with a pressure washer hose. I'm gonna make him eat that thing. And if I got time to change the tip to high pressure, I'm gonna do that too. Cause I'm gonna, if he's coming to get me, I'm gonna bite him first. Cause he ain't gonna like that water in his face. SDA safety is so important. If you if you don't have it, ask your suppliers. Yep. Red tip him in half. Hey, I'll take like I say, I'll take a high thirty pressure and knock him over. Mr. Donovan coming late to the party. Um, I'm tired. I know you got to be tired too, but all right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. I'm a, I'm a little tired. 
I'm going to go to bed, and I'm going to drive up north tomorrow and go back home. Almost fell asleep. <laughs> was I that boring? Jeez. Um, no, it's been a long two days. It was a great day. I loved it down here and had a good time. Um, all that good stuff. So um, I let me know. Um, I will be back on Wednesday. Or I'm sorry, I'm Thursday. I can't think of my days. Um, I'll be back on Thursday, and then next Sunday is my um, is my Zoom call. Um, so we'll be having a Zoom call next Sunday, and uh, we'll see you then. Take it easy. Bye.